What's going on guys? Jax the Bearded Hiker here. Maple Sriracha Bacon from scratch. This could get interesting. Let's do this. So let's get our bacon party started. You can see here, I'm well you can't see it all, but this is about a six pound pork belly and it's about an inch and a half thick. If your bacon is any thicker than that, then the recipe ingredients will change. So make sure you get your proportions correctly. Specifically, what we're, I'm talking about is the pink curing salt that we're gonna be using. It's kind of imperative to get a proper cure. So keep that in mind. Six pounds of pork belly, all right? Now we're gonna start out with nine teaspoons of kosher salt. Now I am gonna leave the proportions in the description. Nine teaspoons of black pepper. Six tablespoons of maple sugar. Now that's what makes this maple, part of what's making this maple sriracha. Now, I don't know if you can see this properly, but this is pure Vermont maple sugar. I got this off Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description where you can pick you some up with that. If not, you could just substitute regular sugar, but then it wouldn't be, you know, necessarily totally maple, even though we are going to be using some maple. One teaspoon of pink curing salt, or I guess they also call that prog powder number one. One cup of maple syrup. Now this is kind of a dark maple syrup. This is a, a bourbon cask aged uh, pure maple syrup. Mmm, that smells good already. We got two tablespoons of sriracha sauce going in. And this is the Hoi Fong Foods brand that I'm using here. One and a half cups of distilled water. All right, so we're gonna mix this about until we get it nice mixed up, nice and mixed up, and then I'll show you what we're gonna do. All right, so we're gonna take a Ziploc bag here and pour off our concoction into this bag. All right, now that we got all our merit, I hope you guys can see. So this, by the way, in case you're wondering about it, this is a two and a half gallon uh, Ziploc bag. Very hard to find in my area. I will leave a link in the description if you can't find it, an Amazon link to where you can uh, purchase those as well. So let's throw our six pound pork belly in here. We're gonna get as much air out as we can. Zip it closed like that. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick this in our refrigerator just like this. We're gonna put it in a, like a roasting pan or something in case we have any leaks or whatever. But we're gonna flip this once a day. And it's gonna take probably, I'm guessing, somewhere around seven days. So uh, in seven days, we'll see you. All right, so it's been seven days and this badger has been hibernating in our refrigerator for seven days. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna give it a really thorough rinse and then I'm gonna slice a piece off and give it a, a fry up a piece and we're gonna see how what our saltiness level is like. If it's too salty, then we'll be soaking this for a couple hours. But I'm thinking it's gonna be spiced right. All right, mm. Mm, that's really good. Not salty at all. Got getting the sweetness, perfect balance between sweet and salty. All right, all right, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator and just let it dry out for about a couple hours and then we're gonna smoke it. All right, so it hasn't been two hours. After two hours, I checked that bacon from uh, drying out in the refrigerator and it didn't have really much of a pellicle on it. So what I've, what I've decided to do is just let it go overnight. So it's the next day. 
Now I'm going to go over here and show you guys how to set up the smoker for the Weber Smoky Mountain. So I figured I'd show you guys my setup here for the cook. Uh, no, we're not using the uh, PK grill. I've got a half a chimney starter full here of that I'm lighting up of briquettes. And what I've done here is we're going to be doing the minion method, okay? So I've filled this charcoal basket here about halfway up. I've dug out the center and we'll put those lit briquettes in the center here. And you can see I have some apple wood on there and I've put that apple wood and placed uh, most of them in front of my vent. So I got a vent here, here, and here. So I've got, you know, three and then I just put two other ones in there too. They're fairly small chunks. Anyway, that is the setup for this bacon smoke. So this is what I'm going to be using to hang the bacon. This is a rib rack from Gateway Drum Smokers. I'll leave a link below where you can get one of those if you want to. Uh, they sell some on Amazon. So we're just letting this Weber Smoky Mountain come up to temp. We'll get back with you. The Weber Smoky Mountain's almost up to temp, but I wanted to show you this bacon before uh, we do it. But it's, I don't know if you can see the shine on it, but it's nice and tacky. That's exactly what we want. So what I plan on doing is, Putting these hooks, two of them, here and here, and then uh, hanging it. So let me get that going. All right, we are at roughly staying there about 220 degrees. We don't want to go over 225. I'm just going to hang it right there. Put the lid on it. So we're trying to keep it about 2 220, 225. I don't want to go over that. I have two vents completely closed and i have one vent about the size of a pencil maybe a quarter of the way open and we're looking for an internal temp of this bacon uh, of about 150 degrees i'm thinking three four hours something like that we'll see we've reached 150. i'm ready to take this bad boy off as you can see i've had to this was sagging here so I just kind of laid a straw up there so it wouldn't sag. Alright, All right, so we're just going to take it inside. We'll just let it cool a little bit. And then I, what I'm thinking about doing is, is cutting it in half and then vacuum sealing each bit and let it equalize for, I don't know, two or three days. We'll see, I'll let you know. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this in our fridge for a, a few days. I'm gonna go ahead and slice this in half so I can fit it in our deal. Let's have a look in the middle. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. All right, let's package these up. Hang on. All right, let's just put one in the bag here. Okay, so I'm uh, going to go ahead and seal these up using the VacMaster VP210. <clears throat> this is the best vacuum sealer on the planet, I'm telling you. it's Watch this, this is so freaking cool. Ready? All right, slabs of bacon, guys. We'll see you in a few days. I'm going to leave a link in the description where you guys can pick up one of these vac masters if you're interested. Again, the best vacuum sealer on the planet. So it's been two days. I'm going to keep one in the refrigerator, and we're going to slice a pack up, and we're going to fry it up and give it a taste and see how we did. Real quick, guys, before I fry this stuff up, this is how I'm going to freeze it. I just cut a piece of parchment paper. I laid them over like you'd get, you know, like you'd see in the store bacon. So I'm going to put that inside this bag and vacuum seal it for freezing. Carolina Chris Meat Turner.
Thank you, Carolina Chris. I'll leave a link to his channel down below. Awesome guy. He uh, hand forged this meat hook or this meat turner for me. I don't put this out there often, but he actually did it for a YouTube channel called Incognito Kitchen. That's the first time you've heard me mention that publicly on my channel. I probably won't mention it again. <laughs> Okay, so we're fried up here. Let's give uh, let's give us a little sample here. Focus. There we go. Oh my goodness. Hmm. Wow. This is absolutely some of the best bacon I have ever had. And I mean, I'm not saying that. I'm sure other people can make better bacon than I can, but this is the best I've ever, well, this is the first time I've ever made it, but man, this is delicious. I think if I would do anything different next time is I would actually let it go for longer because it's not, I mean, it's it's got a saltiness to it, but not a saltiness level like you would see in store-bought. So I'd probably let it, go just a little bit longer maybe three or four days longer and then i would probably add more sriracha because i'm not getting a lot of the of the sriracha flavor in here but i'm definitely getting the sweetness of the sugar delicious all right guys bacon from scratch 